All right, we're talking about information rights. Uh, again, we're discussing common stock versus preferred stock. And the single thing that sets preferred stock apart is that preferred stock shareholders get preferences. Uh, that means they have certain rights and, and uh, certain things assigned to them that common stock sh shareholders don't. This is a big list of the preferences that preferred stock shareholders will sometimes have. Uh, right now we're talking about information rights. And what does that mean? Uh, so as a preferred stock shareholder, you can specify certain things around information that you would like around information. Uh, essentially, a simple way to think about this is who gets information, what info information do they get, and what quality uh, does that information have to be. So who gets information, uh, that has to do with um, do all preferred stock shareholders get this information, do all shareholders get this information, does every investor or is there some threshold? Uh, where you have to own a certain percentage of the company or a certain number of shares so that you're entitled to this information. Um, what information? Is it financials? Is it an operating plan? How detailed is it? Uh, and, how, and then, of course, uh, quality. Is it audited? Who oversees it? Uh, and, you know, how often do they get it? Questions like that. So, really, you're just saying, look, as a preferred stock shareholder, one of the preferences I have is that I have the right to get this information from the company uh, at a, you know, a certain time frame uh, and of a certain quality. So let's talk about investor favorable uh, versus company favorable scenarios with, uh, with information rights. First of all, the investor favorable, uh, one of the more investor favorable examples is, you know, I get audited financials by a big five consulting firm and I get an operating plan, I might get uh, all kinds of different financial information. Um, that can be expensive for companies to produce uh, and can take a bunch of time. Uh, so that tends to be very favorable to the investors. A company favorable scenario would be, you know, you, get, you have to give them less information than that. There's no auditor and there's some threshold so you don't have to give every uh, investor the information, only maybe your biggest investors. Um, so there, there are some bad things that can happen with uh, information rights. Uh, you know, really the two that are the easiest to explain are these things are, it's expensive to produce this information, so sometimes it's a real drag on the company to have to spend money to get an audited financial statement from a big five firm. Uh, and then also, uh, uh, they'll put in thresholds sometimes because they're concerned about small investors leaking information, uh, leaking financials about, you know, around valuation or uh, specifics around the funding uh, or whatever, specifics about anything in the company. It could be the technology or the IP. Uh, so they're, they're really um, somewhat concerned about small investors or single investors, so they'll put a threshold in. Uh, sometimes that's two of the things they try and avoid. But again, important to understand preferred stock preferences that common stock does not have. One of those preferences, the right to information.